This is a stuffing box. This is what keeps the water that's outside of your boat from coming inside your boat alongside your propeller shaft. And what's holding the stuffing box onto the stern post of your boat are something called hanger bolts. All right, so that's a hanger bolt. And um, basically it's got a wood screw on one end and a machine screw on the other end. It's pretty darn simple. Thread it into a piece of wood and bolt something onto the other end. And um, my problem is that I can't find any in this size locally and uh, I got to get the job done. So I'll show you what's wrong with the existing ones. They are suffering from electrolysis or galvanic activity. And if you look closely here, you'll see this sort of pinkish discoloration. That's a sure sign of galvanic activity or electrolysis. And what that means is molecules from this metal are going into another piece of metal in the boat that's higher on the scale. Galvanic, galvanic series, series of metals. The galvanic series of metals has got things like gold and silver and platinum near the top of the, the list, or they call those more noble. And down at the bottom of the list are uh, things like zinc and magnesium, which are least noble. The metal that's lower on this scale is losing molecules to another metal that is higher on the scale that is within an electrolyte, and in this case it's seawater the more noble metal will suck molecules from the lesser noble one. So that's my fastener, and this is my prop shaft, and I should have a zinc over here, and then with the zinc, so this guy would steal molecules from this guy, but this guy wasn't working, so this guy stole molecules from this guy, which is why they're hooped. Who was the asshole that stole my molecules? If you want to find your galvanic series of metals, uh, you can find it in one of these things. It's called a book, and uh, it works just like the internet, but without Wi-Fi. At the back of it is, is a thing called an index, and it, it's like Google, but with more accurate results. I need to replace these fasteners. And my problem is that I don't have any, uh, any of my local suppliers, so I'm going to do something that's a little bit experimental. I'm going to use um, a piece of bronze rod in the same diameter as these bolts, and I'm going to try and cut a uh, wood thread onto one end of it, using my bandsaw and um, I think it's going to work okay. It's not really a practical solution, but you know, what the hell, let's give it a shot. Seawater. 
cargo of water, uh, cargo of seawater. <laughs> Who the hell's carrying a load of snow on their boat? <laughs> oh, that just doesn't make sense.